Yo, what's going on, your boy Ghost here, and today I am bringing you guys a another comparison video between the Bullfrog and AK 74 u um, And both these weapons, in my opinion, are very strong contenders to be the best SMG in the game. I know a lot of people still feel like the Mac 10 is still, you know, superior and whatnot, but you know, ever since it got fixed slash nerfed, um, it's kind of been more balanced now, and it allows for more SMGs to, I guess, thrive or being used like they just have there's a, more an opportunity to be used without getting punished by you know the mac 10 and i've been seeing a lot of talks of the bullfrog position being meta the 74 u you know again i'm a very strong advocate for it being one of the best engines in the game and um yeah but before we get into that i want to say if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn notifications we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers so that would be you know amazing if you guys hit that sub button also uh, check me out on my Twitch, Elvis Ghost underscore. Um, you know, I'll be streaming pretty much daily, or I attempt to stream daily. And if you want to get an opportunity to interact with me a lot more, uh, Twitch is probably the best way to do so. And um, yeah, with that being said, though, let's get to the comparison. And here we have the recoil pattern for the Bullfrog. As you can see, nothing too crazy. Um, and when you're in game, it's really going to have no recoil because it's pretty easy to control. Um, and the fire rate is. Not too fast, not too slow. It's kind of like, it's kind of more on the faster side, but it's not like extremely fast. So the fire rate won't really affect your recoil control. And overall, this weapon is just, just a beast. And if you wanted to use this weapon like with a sniper as a primary or whatever, um, you it's very capable of doing so because it has that capability. And this right here, this gun right here is literally what the Bison should have been. You know, we have the Bison from Modern Warfare, and, you know, the gun isn't horrible, but it's not, you know, it's mid-tier at best, you know, it's not top-tier, it's not something crazy, and this is what it should have been, but thankfully we got it now, and I couldn't ask for a better Bison, <laughs> or Bullfrog, my bad, but one of the biggest advantages this gun has, it's actually, it's ammo capacity, um, it has up to, like, 80 bullets, so, theoretically, if you're fighting a full squad, like, a four people, I think you're capable enough with 80 bullets to killing it and then being able to reload quickly, you know, it's just a big plus. Because, you know, LMG has the ability to get up to, like, you know, 100 rounds, 125, whatever, but the reloads are literally, they take years. But with an SMG, it's like a basically, this is this right here is a mini LMG. It has good damage and a lot of ammo, and it's very versatile, which is something that, you know, SMG has to have. Mobility-wise, it's amazing. You know, again, I say this in pretty much every SMG comparison that I do. Mobility is a big, big part of my game. And if my SMG feels weird and just kind of, you know, stiff, I don't know, like, I tend to stay away from it. Because I just like weapons that are smooth when I'm slide canceling, running, and just everything in general. So, like, the MAC-10, that's why I really favor the MAC-10. Not because I think it's the best, but it's mostly because of the just how smooth the movement is and the milano even um has amazing movement but you know the milano is literally one of the worst guns in the game so we don't use it and you know damage wise this gun is actually not that bad like you would think that a web uh, smg that has almost 100 bullets would be kind of like lacking on the um damage side i mean that's what the bison is literally that thing has almost like 80 i think you get up to 80 bullets on it and it shoots peace but this gun does not it's Literally like it's like if you went to the like you had the bison right and then you went to go pack a punch it and boom This is what you get. No lie. This is what you get. But anyways, compared to the city for you though uh, I think the, bi or the bullfrog definitely doesn't have more damage than the city for you um, But it has a lot of things that Make up for you know and the damage isn't like too crazy It's not like too noticeable where like the city for you just evaporates people and then the bi and the bullfrog You know kind of lacks they both are very very powerful and in terms of like them compared to mac 10 i like they got it you know what i'm saying easily i think i know that people like the cold warm p5 as well um I, i'm sorry to be bringing up all this random stuff but like cold warm p5 has been kind of making a run for meta but you know it has a few factors that kind of steer people away from it and so that's why i would put like the bullfrog even in the top three um no particular order but you know my top three for smgs right now would be the mac 10 74 human bullfrog um i might Go and try the MP5 Cold War or the Cold War MP5 again to try to you know, figure things out. Cause that's what I did in last year in Modern Warfare. I used every single SMG pretty much, and I was able to formulate thoughts and opinions on what was the best ones, what were the worst ones, what were the, like the pretty good ones. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I think I got to do it this year as well. But again, man, this Bullfrog is literally one of those weapons that is very slept on right now. 
Or not slept on. So I actually starting to come into metal a little bit. I see a lot more bullfrogs now. And um, I don't know if you guys know who J-God is. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know who J-God is. I actually made a video about the bison highlighting why it could be metal. And that's actually what kind of prompted to me making this video. Because I saw him make that. And I was think thinking to myself, hmm, that's an interesting point. I started using it. And I was like, wait a minute. He has a very good point. And, you know, here we are. But with that being said, let's get into 74 you. And then we have the recoil pattern for the 74U. As you can see, it's actually going right. And if you actually notice, the Bison's one, or the Bullfrog one, my bad, is going left. So it's kind of like opposing each other, which is kind of funny to me. Uh, you know, something a little random right there. But in-game, man, the 74U doesn't really have that much recoil. It's very easy to control. Um, I wouldn't completely say it has no recoil, um, but it has, like, minimal recoil. Like, in some cases, I feel like it wants to give me recoil, especially with the Task Force Barrel. But, you know, it, it's not that bad because it's easy to control. But it feels a little weird. It doesn't feel like a straight beamer like the how the Bullfrog does. But it's still a really good weapon. And I've been living by this weapon since day one of the integration. Um, if you look at my channel, you see how many videos I made on the Snake 4 u And every time I talk about the Snake 4 u I have a lot of praise for it. Because it's just, I don't know, man. It's so good. And even when the Mac 10 was at its prime, when it was at its highest. I mean, it was technically now it's still in its prime. But when it was, like, pre nerf I still lived by the 74U and I still thought it was better and even right now I consider it to be probably the best SMG in the game um, but that's really all personal preference you know some people could say the Mac is better or the best the Bullfrog is the best the 74 is the best or even that Cold War 1B5 is the best and right there I just gave you four SMGs that have potential to be number one which means that there's a lot of diversity and there's not no clear cut overpowered SMG which is great it's great for the, uh, the game it's great for the diversity of secondaries and it's this is like the Warzone that I like. I like when I could use any of the four that I just named, or even more. There's even more options out there that could be the best SMG. So it doesn't become a stale game. Nah, but that's, you know, that's a little just whatever. That, that, that's irrelevant right now. But one of the things that I will say that the Sending for you has like a disadvantage towards the Bullfrog is not the ammo capacity itself. I mean, yes, it has less ammo than the Bullfrog, but the damage makes up for it. But it's the reload animation. And let me tell you, man, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. The reload animations in this game are, or Cold War weapons, are brutal. And with the drum mag of the 74U, it's just so annoying. And there's actually two reload animations. I'm pretty sure you guys know this already, but there's two reload animations. There's a reload animation when, you know, you reload in the middle of your clip. So let's say I shoot, I kill somebody and then I reload after. You know, that's one reload animation. The other reload animation is when you completely run out of uh, ammo in your clip and you have to fully reload. And that one is the most inconvenient one to get. Especially with the drum mag on the 74U. I don't I can't tell you how annoying it gets when I, you know, empty out my clip and I'm trying to reload, then I run then I sprint a little bit and I cancel it. And then I try to do it again and I and I cancel it. And then I try to do it again and I can't and then it just doesn't reload. Or like I think the animation goes through like I, I stop for a few seconds, I try to get the animation to, um uh to you know go through. And then I think it's done, and then I move, and then I, it's not done. Oh, like I'm really hoping that they make it so these movie animations aren't as annoying as they are, because oh my god, man, it just oh, I just need convenience, and these real animations are not convenient. And it's funny to me because the bullfrog has more ammo in its mag, but the real animations are more bearable. And I'm not gonna. I run out of ammo in my clip on my 74U more often than I do on my uh, Bullfrog. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, man. Like, 74U, though, it's just amazing. I love it. I love the Bullfrog as well. But, you know, I have special connections with the 74U, man. You know what I'm saying? This thing makes me, you know, it made me act up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, yeah, the one thing that I will say about 74U, to me, how I just mentioned earlier about movement, um, this just. I say for you feels sometimes awkward, you know, like especially with the 50 on it, it just feels awkward. And the little stock that you see right there, it makes you feel like it's more, I don't know, like I can't explain it. It just feels weird, you know. It just feels, it don't feel right. It doesn't feel as smooth as like a Bullfrog, a Mac, a Milano, or MP5. It just, it feels a lot more clunky, but it's manageable. And you know, just the way I'm able to finesse with it, I'm able to kill people with like it's. It's bearable because I make it bearable, and I mean it's not that hard. Like I'm not like I'm not acting like this is some oh, crazy revolutionary thing to do to make this any for you bearable, um, and it's not like too inconvenient either. But I think one of the reasons why it's not like meta meta is because it doesn't feel as smooth as like a Mac or any of the other SMGs that you know mobility wise feels great. And even when you're running, even with double time, it feels a little slow compared to some of the other SMGs, and you know I don't know. Man. 
But that again, man, it's personal preference. It's literally how you see it, how you feel by it. Um, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and necessarily tell you what gun is better than the other because that's not what these videos are for. Um, I'm not sitting here to put one over the other. I'm just here to simply compare it and bring up the question on, you know, what weapon would you prefer in the situation or when you're playing Warzone. Um, for me though, 74 years of day I die, no matter what it's from G. The Bullfrog though, great alternative, great alternative. Let me tell you, man. If you have not used it, give it a shot. If you have not used 74 you as well, give it a shot and let me know how you feel about both weapons. Um, but yeah. With that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm out. Peace.